Bashkara, and as Bashkara II to avoid confusion with Bashkara I, was an Indian mathematician and astronomer. He was born in Bijapur in modern Karnataka. Bashkara and his works represent a significant contribution to mathematical and astronomical knowledge in the 12th century. He has been called the greatest mathematician of medieval India. His main work, Siddhanta Shiromani, is divided into four parts called Lilavati, Bijaganita, Graha-Ganita and Goladjaya, which are also sometimes considered four independent works. These four sections deal with arithmetic, algebra, mathematics of the planets, and spheres respectively. He also wrote another treatise named Karana Kautihala. Bashkara's work on calculus predates Newton and Leibniz by over half a millennium. He is particularly known in the discovery of the principles of differential calculus and its application to astronomical problems and computations. While Newton and Leibniz have been credited with differential and integral calculus, there is strong evidence to suggest that Bashkara was a pioneer in some of the principles of differential calculus. He was perhaps the first to conceive the differential coefficient and differential calculus. Date, place, and family. Bashkara gives his date of birth and date of composition of his major work in a verse in the Ayamita, Raza Guna Purna Mahisama Saka Nrpa Same, Bhavat Mamot Pati, Raza Guna Varsina Maya Siddhanta Sairamani Rasatar. This reveals that he was born in 1036 of the AKA era, and that he composed the Siddhanta I Romani when he was 36 years old. He also wrote another work called the Karana Kutuhala when he was 69. His works show the influence of Brahmagupta, Sridhara, Mahavira, Padmanabha and other predecessors. He was born near Vijadavada. Bashkara is said to have been the head of an astronomical observatory at Ujjain, the leading mathematical center of medieval India. He lived in the Sahyadri region. History records his great-great-great-grandfather holding a hereditary post as a court scholar, as did his son and other descendants. His father Mahasvera was a mathematician, astronomer and astrologer, who taught him mathematics, which he later passed on to his son Loksamudra. Loksamudra's son helped to set up a school in 1207 for the study of Bashkara's writings, the Siddhanta Shiromani. Lilavati The first section Lilavati consists of 277 verses. It covers calculations, progressions, measurement, permutations, and other topics. Bijaganita The second section Bijaganita has 213 verses. It discusses zero, infinity, positive and negative numbers, and indeterminate equations including Paul's equation, solving it using a Kutaka method. In particular, he also solved the case that was to elude Fermat and his European contemporaries centuries later. Graha-Ganita In the third section Graha-Ganita, while treating the motion of planets, he considered their instantaneous speeds. He arrived at the approximation, for close to, or in modern notation, in his words, Bimbadas Yakoti Jagunas Trijahara Phalim Dorjayurantaram This result had also been observed earlier by Munjalakaya in 932, in his astronomical work, Lagu Manasam, in the context of a table of signs. Bashkara also stated that at its highest point a planet's instantaneous speed is zero. Mathematics Some of Bashkara's contributions to mathematics include the following. A proof of the Pythagorean theorem by calculating the same area in two different ways and then cancelling out terms to get a2 plus b2 equals c2. In Lilavati, solutions of quadratic, cubic and quartic indeterminate equations are explained. Solutions of indeterminate quadratic equations. Integer solutions of linear and quadratic indeterminate equations. The rules he gives are the same as those given by the Renaissance European mathematicians of the 17th century. A cyclic Chakravala method for solving indeterminate equations of the form x2 plus bx plus c equals y. The solution to this equation was traditionally attributed to William Brunker in 1657. 
though his method was more difficult than the Chakravala method. The first general method for finding the solutions of the problem x2 minus n y2 equals 1 was given by Bhaskara II. Solutions of Diophantine equations of the second order, such as 61 by 2 plus 1 equals y2. This very equation was posed as a problem in 1657 by the French mathematician Pierre de Fermat. But its solution was unknown in Europe until the time of Euler in the 18th century. Solved quadratic equations with more than one unknown, and found negative and irrational solutions. Preliminary concept of mathematical analysis. Preliminary concept of infinitesimal calculus, along with notable contributions towards integral calculus. Conceived differential calculus, after discovering the derivative in differential coefficient. Stated Rolle's theorem, a special case of one of the most important theorems in analysis, the mean value theorem. Traces of the general mean value theorem are also found in his works. Calculated the derivatives of trigonometric functions and formulae. In Siddhanta Shiromani, Bhaskara developed spherical trigonometry along with a number of other trigonometric results. Arithmetic Bhaskara's arithmetic text Nilavati covers the topics of definitions, arithmetical terms, interest computation, arithmetical and geometrical progressions, plane geometry, solid geometry, the shadow of the gnomon, methods to solve indeterminate equations, and combinations. Lilavati is divided into 13 chapters and covers many branches of mathematics, arithmetic, algebra, geometry, and a little trigonometry and measurement. More specifically the contents include definitions, properties of zero, further extensive numerical work, including use of negative numbers and thirds. Estimation of pi, arithmetical terms, methods of multiplication, and squaring, inverse rule of 3, and rules of 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. Problems involving interest and interest computation, indeterminate equations, integer solutions. His contributions to this topic are particularly important, since the rules he gives are the same as those given by the Renaissance European mathematicians of the 17th century, yet his work was of the 12th century. Bhaskara's method of solving was an improvement of the methods found in the work of Aryabhata and subsequent mathematicians. His work is outstanding for its systemization, improved methods and the new topics that he has introduced. Furthermore, the Lilavati contained excellent recreative problems and it is thought that Bhaskara's intention may have been algebra. His Bijaganita was a work in 12 chapters. It was the first text to recognize that a positive number has two square roots. His work Bijaganita is effectively a treatise on algebra and contains the following topics. Positive and negative numbers. Zero. The unknown. Determining unknown quantities. Surds. Kataka. Simple equations. Simple equations with more than one unknown. Indeterminate quadratic equations. Solutions of indeterminate equations of the second, third and fourth degree. Quadratic equations. Quadratic equations with more than one unknown. Operations with products of several unknowns. Bhaskara derived a cyclic Chakravala method for solving indeterminate quadratic equations of the form x2 plus bx plus c equals y. Bhaskara's method for finding the solutions of the problem nx2 plus 1 equals y2 is of considerable importance. Trigonometry The Siddhanta Shiromani demonstrates Bhaskara's knowledge of trigonometry, including the sign table and relationships between different trigonometric functions. He also discovered spherical trigonometry, along with other interesting trigonometrical results. In particular Bhaskara seemed more interested in trigonometry for its own sake than his predecessors who saw it only as a tool for calculation. Among the many interesting results given by Bhaskara, discoveries first found in his works include computation of signs of angles of 18 and 36 degrees, and the now well-known formulae for an 
Calculus His work, the Siddhanta Shiromani, is an astronomical treatise and contains many theories not found in earlier works. Preliminary concepts of infinitesimal calculus and mathematical analysis, along with a number of results in trigonometry, differential calculus and integral calculus that are found in the work are of particular interest. Evidence suggests Bashkara was acquainted with some ideas of differential calculus. Bashkara also goes deeper into the differential calculus and suggests the differential coefficient vanishes at an extreme and value of the function, indicating knowledge of the concept of infinitesimals. There is evidence of an early form of Rolle's theorem in his work If Then for some width. He gave the result that if then, thereby finding the derivative of sine, although he never developed the notion of derivatives, Bashkara uses this result to work out the position angle of the ecliptic, a quantity required for accurately predicting the time of an eclipse. In computing the instantaneous motion of a planet, the time interval between successive positions of the planets was no greater than a true t, or a 1 33,750th of a second, and his measure of velocity was expressed in this infinitesimal unit of time. He was aware that when a variable attains the maximum value, its differential vanishes. He also showed that when a planet is at its farthest from the Earth, or at its closest, the equation of the center vanishes. He therefore concluded that for some intermediate position the differential of the equation of the center is equal to zero. In this result, there are traces of the general mean value theorem, one of the most important theorems in analysis which today is usually derived from Rolle's theorem. The mean value theorem was later found by Parameshvara in the 15th century in the Lilavati Bhashya, a commentary on Bhashkara's Lilavati, Madhava and the Kerala school mathematicians from the 14th century to the 16th century expanded on Bhashkara's work and further advanced the development of calculus in India. Astronomy Using an astronomical model developed by Brahma Gupta in the 7th century, Bashkar accurately defined many astronomical quantities, including, for example, the length of the sidereal year, the time that is required for the Earth to orbit the Sun, as 365.2588 days which is the same as in Surya Siddhanta. The modern accepted measurement is 365.2563 days, a difference of just 3.5 minutes. His mathematical astronomy text Siddhanta Shuromani is written in two parts. The first part on mathematical astronomy and the second part on the sphere. The twelve chapters of the first part cover topics such as mean longitudes of the planets, true longitudes of the planets, the three problems of diurnal rotation, syzygies, lunar eclipses, solar eclipses, latitudes of the planets, sunrise equation, the moon's crescent, conjunctions of the planets with each other, conjunctions of the planets with the fixed stars, the paths of the sun and moon. The second part contains 13 chapters on the sphere. It covers topics such as praise of study of the sphere, nature of the sphere, cosmography and geography, planetary mean motion, eccentric epicyclic model of the planets, the armillary sphere, spherical trigonometry, ellipse calculations, first visibilities of the planets, calculating the lunar crescent, astronomical instruments, the seasons, problems of astronomical calculations, engineering, the earliest reference to a perpetual motion machine date back to 1150, when Bashkara II described a wheel that he claimed would run forever. Bashkara II used a measuring device known as Yasti Yantra. This device could vary from a simple stick to V-shaped staffs designed specifically for determining angles with the help of a calibrated scale. Legends In his book Lilavati, he reasons, in this quantity also which has zero as its divisor there is no change even when many quantities have entered into it or come out of it. Just as at the time of destruction and creation when throngs of creatures enter into and come out of him, there is no change in the infinite and unchanging Vishnu.